Okay, so the next letter in the sequence is dated the 6th of May, and it reads as follows. Hello, my darling. Today is Sunday and the weather is glorious. I expected the war to end today, but it hasn't yet. Still, it's just as good as over, even if it does drag on a few days more. I've tried to imagine your feelings these past few days. I am very restless and can think of nothing else. We have all talked about it so much and waited so long that when it does happen, we will hardly be excited. Yesterday morning, rumours got around that we had ordered the Germans to lay down arms and at 10.30 a.m. we heard that it was finished and we thought it was true this time. Several of us just stood around and said, well, that's that. And that's all there was to it. But I was disappointed again when I heard that it was not yet over. I have seen the Daily Express of last Wednesday. It is told that the first age groups will be released six weeks after the war ends. Now we must wait and see how many groups they will release at one time. We will at least then know when we are likely to become civilians again. All oh, this, darling, and I haven't said, how are you? My two girls, I do hope you are both well. There is no letter of yours to answer this time that I expect to hear tomorrow. I have my day off today. This morning I have been for a long walk with Johnny Beck. There is a really lovely walk here, and by accident we came across the zoological gardens, so we had a look. I thought of Snood when I saw other children around. Barker, not now in PR, called in last evening, having just arrived on seven days leave. We are going out together in the afternoon. Now, my darling, let's hope that this letter will be the one to arrive with the end of the war. Remember, I love you, but I will manage to be patient now, that it is now only a matter of days or perhaps hours. Take good care of yourselves and keep well and happy. I shall soon be home. Kiss Snood and all my love to you both. Always, Charles.